Hello boys and welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to make like a really quick video on one of the most asked questions that I get asked these days and that's like more and more people are willing to step into the transfer market like building up your auction house and getting a lot of frequent sales like I do. So one of the most popular questions is student what's the best farm to fill up the auction house and right now I'm going to talk about the solo way of doing it because the ways are really, really different if you can constantly get five people to do farms with. And it's also way better because if you can get five people, you can do farms such as Salitus, you can do uh, the Saltstone Cave, you can do the Mine in Stone Talon. Like, there's so many good ways of building up an auction house if you can get five man groups. But if you have to do it solo and you're struggling getting a five man group together, then you should really focus on items, well, dungeon farms that drops. A lot of items but the items also need to be desirable like people you need to do popular transfer items that have a high sell rate there's no point in doing dead mines or stockades because you get a lot of green items when the green items are completely trash so the dungeons that you do want to do and we're going to do dungeons because farming transmog solo in the open world isn't the greatest it really isn't you need five people so dungeons is the best way to fill up the auction house and we're talking farms such as Sulfaric. Sulfaric is really good. It has Bloodlust, Jade, Glorious, Vanguard, like all of the above and really good world drops. It's best farmed in Salitus, those items, but since you're going to do it solo, you have to do either AQ or Sulfaric. Sulfaric has way more mobs and it's just simpler to run. So we're going to do Sulfaric for that. And keep in mind that Sulfaric has been kind of changed since 735, not only loot table, but the amount of items that you get. But it's still really, really steady because you should have those sets on the auction house. They're really, really popular, as I said. So, Sulfaric, you should do BRD. Previously, it was BFD. But since 735, the BFD items also drop in BRD. So, BRD is one of the best dungeons to fill up the auction house. You have the Alpaster gear. You have the, uh, the zone-specific items from BFD and BRD. So, it's just an all-around great dungeon to fill up the auction house. And then you have RFK. RFK is really simple to run and uh, it drops a lot of green items, simple as that. And if you're lucky enough, you're gonna get something like the Avengers Armor, which has a market value of like 40, 50,000 gold. But like, just in green items, is really, really decent. And the fourth dungeon is gonna be Wailing Caverns. Wailing Caverns is really, really good, but you might experience some runs where you're gonna do it for one hour and not get more than like one or two items to put on the auction house. But Sometimes you're lucky and you get like 12 items to put up on the auction house and we're talking like barbaric and grisly and ceremonial These are sets that are like the most popular sets on the auction house They have a sell rate of as high as 0 0.12. So they're extremely extremely good So definitely do wailing caverns into your rotation And the next follow-up question is usually how often should I run it? Like how many runs do I have to do before I move on? And it's really depending on RNG, like how lucky are you? How fast are you going to get these items that you're after from these dungeons? But you should always do one hour at once, like so do one hour of Sulfaric, then move over to BRD, do one hour, and keep doing this until you have like, I want to say around 250 to 300 items. Like, uh, and it depends on realm, because you're always going to sell some until you reach that point. But like 250 300 items and then you might want to try and branch out and do other dungeons such as rfd maybe even old demand if you're feeling lucky and so on but focus on those four dungeons that i mentioned so sulfaric brd rfk and uh wait rfk whaling caverns that was the last one whaling caverns that's like my recipe of starting up fresh. Like if I start in a fresh tune, I always go and do those dungeons first to just fill up the auction house. But I'm also in a good position where it's easier for me to get five man groups. So I don't go directly into like old demand and RFD because I can just get a five man group and fill up the auction house even more on those popular five man farming spots. But that's the way of uh, filling up the auction house in a really, really good way. Obviously, after this video, if everyone is gonna do it, it might be harder to sell the items and the value might go down. But as of now, it's my personal uh, top dungeons to fill up the auction house. And if you guys got any questions whatsoever, because I know that I didn't kind of I didn't answer every single question that you might have to like if you're new to the transmog scene and want to get into it. So feel free to leave them down below, and uh, I will do my best to answer the questions. And I guarantee you, there's definitely going to be other people reading the comment section willing to help you out. 
So that's it for this video. If you want like a follow up or more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you will be notified whenever I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.